Changing diapers, kids pee on the floor, adults peeing on the floor, like put poo on the wall. This is where the interesting bit come in. beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is josephine if you're new here if you're a regular welcome back excuse the hair we can't all be naomi campbell's every single day can we no right so today i wanted to share with you my first experience and stories working in retail i'm gonna tell you the good the bad and the ugly when working in retail so i think the best way to do that is to go back to the beginning so in total i think i've worked three or four years like in total in retail and i started when i was still in high school started off i was so so excited because i prior to that i had only been working in cafes and i was currently working as a social companion support for the elderly a uh, really giving job love that I also, in a way, did enjoy working um, at a cafe. If you worked in a cafe um, that is busy, you know that it's quite, you know, it's chop, chop, chop. <laughs> no taking breaks, it's just non-stop work. So that's quite hard work. So I was quite excited to really get to work with customers for real, like actually help them. You know, in a coffee shop, it's more like, you know, they know what they want. Um, at the most exciting moment it would be like what cake should i have and it would be oh yeah i love the carrot cake yeah I'll have, that's fine i'll have that however in a clothing shop which i was so so excited to start um it would be more like does this fit you and you would kind of have a conversation with the customer so i was really excited about about that um and i started off and um there were some different obviously you've like in our team it was a brand new store opening um, so you had a few people that you liked and a few colleagues that you didn't like but you know it obviously is a workplace so I was never too bothered by that but then a few people were let off and then new people came in and um, people were resigning and, and uh, changing into new jobs um, so I suppose like a few months in um, I think the mood in the whole team sort of changed um so that obviously affected me but with the job like at in retail i still enjoyed it i still liked it i wouldn't say that i had horrible customers i wouldn't say that i had i mean obviously of course there's like one that you know stinches out but since i was just uh a like sales associate I would never have to take like the really really angry customers because that those would always go to my boss those would always go to my like the assistant store manager so I would never have to deal with that but I obviously sensed that a lot of my colleagues and obviously a lot of the colleagues that um, had a lot of responsibility were feeling worked out and um, burnt out as well I think um, I think half of the team was burnt out but I was really, really young, so I didn't see that. I was obviously 19 at this point, or 18. So at this time, I like this was my first retail job. I did not think bad of the job. However, there were obviously weird things. I did have a colleague who was a bit more experienced than me. She'd been working in retail for, I'd say, about five years, four or five years. And we had people in the fitting rooms like changing diapers, letting the kids pee on the floor, adults peeing on the floor. Like she'd seen it all already. And I was in shock that people would do that. There was obviously a lot of stealing as well, you know, and then in anger if they got caught, they would obviously have to like be kept in the uh well somewhere until the police came. Um they would like put poo on the wall, um, in their like staff bathroom, like just crazy stories like that um but that didn't put me off from the job because i didn't see that as a part of my job and then the team changed like too much um and i also got a little bit frozen out so like i said like the the retail job itself uh i don't think there was any problem with that um however there were a few girls like teaming up 100 percent got the feeling that they didn't like me and i you know, it's not fun coming to a workplace 
instantly having to feel like you have to defend yourself or feeling like you're not wanted there however this was obviously not every single work day because i wouldn't work with them every single work day but on weekends if we'd be a lot of girls working yeah i'd, I'd sense that they didn't want me there um so i got a uh, an opportunity to change into like a completely different job um and i took that so i only worked in that uh shop for 10 months changed to the new job and then like again like my view of retail was not bad like i think it was a fair job and i obviously think it was a hard job and thought that if you had a lot of responsibility then yes it's it's a really really um tough job but that didn't bother me too much obviously because i was only a sales associate went on to another job and then after i had that job for about i think i only did that for six months then i was off for like i had no job for a few months willingly because i was like all right i'm gonna start my own business which i didn't do but <laughs> um anyway when i ran out of money i had to get a new job so at this point i was studying uh mandarin i had literally no money so i had to get a like weekend extra job kind of thing retail is something that i know so i vouched for that this is where the interesting bit come in i went into that thinking this is going to be a temporary thing i'm only going to do this for a few months ended up staying there for almost three years this is a really really low budget basically like primark but here in sweden you can imagine how the customers are i have gotten like the worst my worst experience in retail is from that shop but i'm also the most grateful for that job because it obviously made me into who i am today so I started working that job. I worked there for about three years. I started working as an extra, like just doing weekends and whenever I had time. And then I advanced into eventually being the assistant store manager. How did that happen? Like, I'm like Chandler, you know? When he works there for five years and they want to promote him because they think he's the best at his job. And he's like, this was only supposed to be a temporary thing, so I quit. Yeah, that's basically me. Um, so I went into being an assistant store manager and before that I had like the most horrible stories a few experiences that I suppose um, thickened my skin a little bit but trust me I didn't I have I had not seen it all there was so much more to be seen everything from from people lying and being like really angry and upset because they can't return um, a permittance that they've written their children's names in um, trying to state that they bought them like that until like <laughs> people peeing and also again changing diapers in the filling rooms and shouting like go to hell I hope you die and you're the most worst blah 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 you know all of that so that's what i got to experience in that shop i think that people who work in retail for a few months and they're like i can't do it um i understand that it is really difficult like you're basically like you know retail therapy you are the therapist but you can't say anything back you can't help them understand why they are calling you a useless like they don't know that they are taking out their anger issues at you um and you can't say you can't tell them you can't be like oh how's the missus or like sorry are you newly divorced money a little bit tight eh like you you can't say that you obviously can't say that and that's why it's such a difficult job because basically you're taking shit for something or a product that you didn't didn't design you don't know how to defend and you basically it's not you like you're not standing for it but on the plus side this is the biggest biggest plus this is why i am hands down my kids will have to work not have to obviously i can't force them but i would love for them to work in service for every retail because it humbles you so much to work in retail and if it doesn't humble you you're doing it wrong i'm sorry if you stay in retail for so long you have newfound respect for people 
and also i mean i am so grateful i have a loving boyfriend i have people who care for me who are nice to me i've seen bad parenting like 101 so like they are shouting horrible things to the kids like i am so grateful for my upbringing and for like even though it wasn't the best of times obviously you can always complain right i am so so grateful for all of that and i'm so so grateful for having to work in retail because of that it has made me a more nicer person it has also made me a more um straight up person like i dare to say my opinions and my thoughts i dare to stand up to, for myself i didn't dare to do that before um, working in my first retail job, there was a lot of scenarios where I didn't do something and I still wouldn't, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take the blame, but I wouldn't say that it's not me. Um, so for instance, we were like building, um, we were changing up some wall and like how it was designed. Basically we were the shop for like, uh, training people from all over the world. Um, so there was this woman from some other countries she was being trained and she suggested that we would put um a certain type of shoe underneath that shouldn't like it wasn't supposed to go there um but yeah she was like i think that would be fine um and it was on my responsibility to put them there so i was like okay well she's older than me she has more experience than me i was extremely um, I looked up to authorities, people, um, more experienced, older people so much. So I was just like, okay, well, if, if she says so, then that's it. And I wouldn't even think for a second that, okay, what, what would I do? What do I want to do? Do I want to follow the guides and like do the job as it's supposed to be done? Or should I just listen to someone who are older than me, more experienced, but actually doesn't have any part of that job doing. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I learned to speak up for myself and actually know my value and be like, do you know what? No, I did not do that. That is not mine. Um, the old Josephine would, would just swallow it and be like, good day. <laughs> um, I'm gonna carry on working now. That would be me. But now I'm just like, it, and, and also if I did do something, I'm like, yes, hell yes I did that because of this. So I guess that's my whole journey in retail. Um, now, the good with working in retail, like I said, it humbles you a lot as a person and it is like a really social job. You do have lovely, wonderful customers who actually probably have worked in retail or service by themselves or just or they're just really nice people. Um, but yeah, they appreciate your work and you do get acknowledged for that. Um, on the downside, yeah, you could have a horrible boss because um, there's a lot of pressure on store managers, re uh, regional managers, um, just in retail. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure going on them. So if they're really harsh on you, um, just take it with a pinch of salt. Um, they're probably just really, really pressured. Um, at least in my experience, like, I actually, I, I never, I don't think I've ever had any issue with bosses not liking me. Um, there was one, but she only worked for a few months because she couldn't, <laughs> um, yeah, she couldn't, she couldn't handle retail. All the other bosses I had, like, they appreciate my hard work and me, you know, just helping out. And I think they saw that that was genuinely there, there to help out. So just bear that in mind that they're probably just pressured. Why I changed jobs the first time was because I knew I wasn't going to be in retail for the rest of my life. In Sweden, you do get really good pay working in retail. Late nights and weekends, you get double the pay, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's a really good way to earn quick money. Really high paid job if you're a student and if you're young. So it's a really good way to get quick money if you're gonna go backpacking and all that. And I did use it as a way to earn quick money, but I knew both the first and the second time that this is not what I'm gonna be doing the rest of my life. And I also think that's why I could deal with all the nastiness that people are raging about and talking about, oh, it's so horrible working in retail. I could sort of be like, okay, do you know what? I've, yes, this is shit, but I'm being paid to be here. So I'm just gonna deal with it and then go home, work on my other stuff, work for my future and visualize 
like my future my next life so why i do recommend you working in retail and you staying long is that if you don't have any other passion or an actual goal or i don't know desire to try something else like i said it does it humbles you a lot and it does bring you great customer experience like obviously get to handle a lot of different type of customers so also if you're very analytic you will it's a great way if you're interested in sales it's a great way for you to learn sales and learn why customers come back to return this item or especially if you've been there to sold the item that's really great great i don't think like i'd say the ugly part of the job is probably i've had colleagues being like yelled on in front of customers i've had colleagues who's been you know he's been crying you know out in the shop i've cried out in the shop like it obviously is a very it's quite a pressuring job it's quite a tough job it's quite a hard job um it is not for everyone but i really 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 wish it was and i really really wish that everyone would try it honestly you know in high school when you have to no it's actually up a secondary school um when you try out different you have to like intern um so you try out different jobs um i think working in retail when you're that young and trying it out understand maybe that the world looks very very different to different people um some people have a very rough and they're in a very negative mind space they're in a very negative um like they're not feeling quite good so they're gonna come out into retail and take it out on, on, on you i do think it's a really really great experience to have also another good thing uh, about working in retail is i have pushed my limits so far that like i wouldn't even know working like 10 days straight 10 hour shifts and you know then not having like proper lunch breaks and or like being disturbed at your lunch break having to deal with some customer all of that like i've pushed my limits so far um not saying that that's a good thing and that i'm gonna keep doing that and i'm gonna do it again but at least i know that i can always push harder and i can always do more than i think i can and i think that if i wouldn't have worked in retail i probably wouldn't be as hard working i would probably might be a little bit snobby about people you know i can be like oh she doesn't do this and blah, he doesn't do that and this is not right and blah 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 you know judgy like judgmental yeah i do feel like you know people can do and be and feel whatever they want to do and be and feel yeah just because i don't get along with them um i mean i might not think that they're the greatest person in the world when they walk into the shop sorry i'm not gonna go to the cinema with them but i can at least hang with them and help them find a sweatshirt for about 15 minutes right so that's another good thing i don't know how many good things i've been listing i feel like i've I turn this into a positive video somehow that's typical um but i think i'm gonna end it there because there are just so many things to be um to be said i obviously have a lot of weird retail stories yeah just experience in general um but i do think there are loads of those out on the internet so i'm just here to bring a positive note on it and um yeah just basically tell you that there are shitty jobs out there that doesn't mean you can't gain from them and um that is all in all a shitty job i just think that it can teach you something and um yeah i think you should be grateful for that so that was it for my video today i'm um, telling you the good the bad the ugly about working in retail please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like this shark tail of mine doesn't it look like a shark tail a little bit yeah i think it does need to sort that out asap but yeah um please make sure you give it a like if you liked the video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh yeah we'll see you guys in my next video bye okay.